Well, two big blows over the weekend for North Melbourne with both Mason Wood and Ben Jacobs ruled out for a couple of months. Tom Chadwick is on community camp with the Roos in Hobart. Tom, what has been the reaction within the group? Nerali, good afternoon to you. Well, I can go to the source himself. Kangaroos big man Ben Brown joins me. Ben, two significant injuries over the weekend, Ben Jacobs and Mason Wood. Fairly disappointing considering it's so close to the season. Yeah, really unfortunate for those two guys and, um, you know, particularly Ben who's, you know, had a long rehab last year and really disappointing for him. But um, I'm sure both of them will come back uh, fitter and stronger and, you know, Mason as well. He's, he's turned into a real big part of our forward line, so we look forward to having them back. I guess the positive over the weekend, a, a pretty handy win against a very good Hawthorne side. You guys seem to be tracking pretty well. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, it's, it's hard to know how much to take out of JLT um, Community Series games. But um, it's, it's good. The way we're tracking is, is good. And we've had some really positive performances from a few young guys, which is good that we've, we've got plenty of competition and guys putting their hands up. Speaking of one of the young guys, one of the big fellas behind you, a fellow big man to yourself, Braden Proust, three goals against the Hawks. He's turning into a pretty good footballer, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. And I suppose he's been uh, behind Goldie the first couple of years and, and just learning his trade, um, coming over from rugby. Only started playing footy when he was 17, I think. So he's come in leaps and bounds. And, uh, you know, it was great to see him get his hands on the footy and kick a couple yesterday. And, um, you know, it'll be good to see him if he gets a couple of games this year. It'll be great to see him out there. And yourself, you've been out for six or so weeks since having a clean out on the knee. Do you expect to play against GWS in the final JLT game in a fortnight? Yeah, it's a bit up in the air at the moment. I suppose the doctors are still working through whether I can uh, get up for that game, but um, I'm aiming for it and I'm doing as much as I can in my rehab work and my running's going really well. And the main thing for me is my body's feeling really good. So when I do get up to play, I, I should be feeling 100% ready to go. And just finally, back in your home state of Tasmania, it's good to be back and uh, oh, I heard Tasmania was a cold place. It's a beautiful day here. Yeah, yeah, the sun's shining. We've got a 28 degree day, I think, <laughs> and one tomorrow as well, which is a bit rare for this, this part of the world. But yeah, I love coming back and, um, you know, we all love getting down to Tassie when we, when we do get the chance. What have you got planned for the community camp tomorrow? Uh, going around a, a couple of uh, schools. We're um, in Hobart, Launceston and Devonport, um, sort of scattered all over the state. So, uh, yeah, schools, um, you know, and, and various community visits. So it's, it's good to get out in the community and see the Tasmanian people. And, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fantastic. Ben, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your time home. Thanks, mate. Narrowly, as we head back to you, we just mentioned Tasmania. We might nick off and sample some of the local produce. Back to you.